Are you considering a career in medicine, but not sure how you'll cover the costs of expenses such as medical school, living expenses, required educational materials and fees? And have you wondered what you'll do with your degree after school ends? The U.S. Army offers one of the most generous and comprehensive scholarships available in healthcare today. It's called the F. Edward A. Bear Armed Forces Health Professions Scholarship Program, or HPSP. If you're preparing for a career as a physician, dentist, veterinarian, optometrist, clinical or counseling psychologist, family nurse practitioner, psychiatric nurse practitioner, or certified registered nurse anesthetist, you may already be qualified for the HPSP Full Tuition Scholarship. When I got accepted into dental school, I found out about this amazing opportunity, the Health Professional Scholarship Program, which allows me to not only pursue my dreams and aspiration of becoming a dentist, but also secondarily serve my country. According to the American Medical Association, the average cost of four years of medical school has risen to more than $250,000. Add to that your living expenses, the startup costs of opening your own practice, plus the rising cost of malpractice insurance, and you can see why the Army Health Profession Scholarship Program is worth looking into. I applied to the HPSP program because I knew that it was going to relieve me from thinking about finances and have a focus into my career. Let's take a look at the benefits the HPSP offers. The Army will pay your full tuition at an accredited school of your choice in the continental United States or Puerto Rico for up to four years, depending on your medical specialty. Your Army service time is a year-for-year -year obligation for each year you receive the scholarship, with a minimum obligation of three years. You'll be appointed and commissioned to the rank of second lieutenant, but you will not be assigned to a unit or military post while you're participating in the HPSP program. In addition to your tuition, the Army pays for your required books and any health insurance required by your school, as well as most equipment and academic fees. Since the Army is paying for the major portion of your school expenses, you can afford to enroll at the school of your choice. As an HPSP recipient, you'll commission into the U.S. Army Reserve as an officer. You'll receive a generous monthly stipend of more than $2,400 for 10 and a half months of each school year. For the remaining six weeks of the program, you'll receive Army officers pay as a second lieutenant on active duty, while taking advantage of the advanced training opportunities available at many of the Army's top healthcare facilities. So, the monthly stipend while at school, the active duty pay, plus training expenses covered while you're on break, it all adds up to a sizable financial package each year. That's in addition to full tuition and other financial assistance. Here's another financial benefit as a qualified medical or dental HPSP recipient. You're eligible to receive a one-time bonus of $20,000, regardless of scholarship length. This bonus is taxable and is paid in a one lump sum approximately 30 days after receipt of the first stipend payment. So the only condition that you will have as a medical school HPSP recipient is simply to graduate. To graduate hopefully on time, meet all the requirements to become fully credentialed. Once you've graduated from medical school, you'll become a member of one of the most comprehensive and dynamic healthcare organizations in the world, the Army Healthcare Team. You'll be commissioned into the U.S. Army as an active duty officer and promoted from a second lieutenant to the rank of captain. And with your promotion comes a higher salary. Your salary will increase through the years with promotions, time in service, and annual cost of living. You'll also receive a monthly non-taxable allowance for your food and housing. What this program has done for me on a personal level is made me into an independent person in this world. When I was first stationed in Germany, I was able to travel to over 23 countries and I was in a group practice where I learned a lot of my dental skills from my colleagues. Um, I not only build really great leadership skills, but I set myself up for success financially. You apply now, you provide yourself with the opportunity to have your entire medical education paid for. On top of that, you have a job waiting for you when you get done. Here's what you need to do for the application process to qualify for the scholarship program. You must be a United States citizen and possess a bachelor's degree from an accredited college or university. You must be enrolled in, have a letter of intent, or have a letter of acceptance from an accredited graduated program located in the United States or Puerto Rico. If you don't have a letter of acceptance or have not yet enrolled, you may still apply. Simply prepare a list of schools to which you have applied and then talk to your recruiter. 
You must be able to maintain a full-time student status during the entire length of the program. The Army expects the same of you that you expect of yourself, to be a dedicated full-time student putting your best effort toward your studies. Lastly, you must meet the Army qualifications of a soldier. Your Army recruiter will provide those requirements and work with you to ensure you meet those standards. To begin the process of applying to the HPSB scholarship, you must first begin by meeting with a recruiter. They'll provide the application forms and work alongside you throughout the process. You'll need your transcripts, letters of recommendation, and your test scores. These documents are required to submit along with your completed HPSB application. You may continue to apply to your desired schools, but you'll need to include a list of these schools with the HPSP application. If I had any advice to anyone, it doesn't hurt to apply. Once selected, it is still up to you whether or not you would like to take this opportunity. But if you decide not to apply, and you decide to maybe think about it at a later date, unfortunately, that ship has sailed. You don't necessarily need a letter of acceptance to start the process, just talk to your recruiter. Our board is trained to essentially choose those who they believe are going to get into school. So you don't need to have a letter of acceptance. All you need to have is a transcript, have taken your MCATs or your DATs or GREs, whatever your professional school requires is all that we need. And we will board select you appropriately. When your application is complete, your Army recruiter will submit the completed packet to the selection board. Finally, once you're accepted to an accredited medical or dental degree program, you must contact your Army recruiter to finalize your HPSP enrollment. Just graduating from medical school is step number one, but the real learning begins afterwards. And so it's up to you as a provider to figure out how you're going to reach the pinnacle of your profession and reach your true potential. I am Captain Stephanie Oppenheim and I am an HPSP graduate. My name is Brandon Jones and I'm an HPSP graduate.